So it appears I had like some technical difficulties. So if you were here for like that five minute stream that we did, I'm not uploading that to YouTube. Uh, I was just going around looking for turtle shells anyway. So hi, hey Randall. <laughs> nice to see you here. Yeah, apparently it was just a little loose. My mic was a little loose, so I had to do some technical finagling, as it were. But we're back. See that bullshit I posted? I don't know. What was your bullshit? I see a lot of bullshit. I, I post a lot of bullshit. So you're going to have to be more specific. The Unity thing. Oh, that the malware. Yeah. I thought Unity wasn't like all that good of an engine anyway. Am I wrong? I know it's really commonly used because like it's a... I think it's free, but... I don't know enough about it. I just know that's, like, bad. Yeah, free and easy to use. Why? Well, I don't know why Unity would do that. <laughs> what, are you, what are you thinking? By the way, can you see me fine? I'm trying to play with the lights off, because I hate the lights on. I hate having the lights on, so if this is... If this works, I might just stay with this. Okay. Also has that, like, flashy different color things all the kids like. So. I'll be famous. Probably not. I'm just washed out. I mean, how's the picture, though? I know. Just, again, me and my terrible comedy. At least this time I didn't, like, directly insult anybody. So that's good. I didn't mean to insult you yesterday, boo. Just trying to make jokes. It's further away. See my lovely... That's more of a shadow. Let's stay back here. Ah. I'm not, like, well, not insult you. Well, the whole entire West Virginia thing. I'm not going to mention it. No, you weren't insulted. You know what I mean. Make him this. What the hell? No, you did! Like, it was like, oh my god. go work out in the morning. Did a nice run this afternoon. That's why I'm posting so late. I just need to relax. Runs always take out a lot for me. When am I going to get with you about the games? I have to get with somebody else, too, because I said I was I was going to get with somebody about some money things. Apparently, I have a friend that's struggling overseas. I'll get with you, dude. I will get with you. There's definitely a few I really want, and then just a summer, like, I don't know if I like Naruto games. Are those Naruto games any good? Or are they just, like, I don't know. I don't even like Naruto. You love them? So why are you giving them up? I know you, like, you really wanted to get that PSP, dude. If you don't want to say here, that's fine, but, like... I remember you got that PSP a while back, and you're so happy to have it. And you love the Naruto games. Okay.
I won't ask anymore. Okay. I just, you know, never know. I really hope you get that promotion, though, soon, dude. It sounds like you really work hard for the people you work for. And you're not appreciated. I hope they regret it. Make them regret it, dude. Definitely make them regret it. Like if you're working hard for a company and they don't they don't want to pay you, then fuck them. Find someone who's gonna pay you more. Or at least pay you pay you something that you can like go to some place and live. So if you can find some place cheaper to live and Well, considering where you're at, I mean you're not really going to, but well maybe. There's some places, but You know what I'm saying? Why aren't they allowed to hire you? What the fuck, man? Like, no one should not be allowed- No one should be allowed to not hire someone. Politics?! Yo. Yo, fuck them then. Then they don't really want to hire you. I'll say that right now. Look. If you tell me that you really want me to do something, or you really want to hire me, you really want to bring me on for a job, but you can't, then you really don't want me. That's, that's the reality. You don't want me. And it's okay, like, I don't know. Just say like, hey, like, I don't, I just don't want you at this time. I think, I think adults can handle that shit, dude. I think they can handle it. Yeah, they definitely don't deserve you. But I mean, I wouldn't say if I if I was that person, I wouldn't be saying, "Oh yeah, I want, like I definitely want you to join the team." No, no, you don't. Because if you wanted me to join your team, you would have put me on the team. Just say you wanted other people more, or you're you're you you want your lifestyle better. Like it's like, oh my lifestyle. Okay, so your lifestyle is more important than me. So you don't want me. Because if you did have me, then then you would be risking something. So you don't want me. Just just. It's fine. Be an adult. Be honest. Or shut the fuck up. I'm gonna turn on the lights. If I'm washed out, I'm gonna turn on the lights a little bit. Three months to tell you no. See, that's a little more. That's a little rougher. I mean, it's, it's fucked up. Don't get me wrong. Like, if some, if people know that they're not gonna hire you, then that should be as soon as they know, they should tell you no. And maybe that is the case. Maybe it's like really a deliberate process, or maybe it wasn't. And then they just, you know, they're a bunch of pussies and they can't, <laughs> they can't fucking say the things they need to say. Dragon Fangs. How many Dragon Fangs do I have? 48. I still need to buy a bunch of items, then I need to go get this last tablet. Oh yeah, shit's always dumb, dude. Shit's always dumb.
This kind of goes back to shit like I said a long time ago about... And it's not you, I don't like... This isn't specifically towards you, but it's like... You know, they say like a bunch of people, they don't want to work and they're lazy and everything like that. I mean, there's that element out there nowadays. There certainly is. Like, people just don't want to put in the labor that they used to a long time ago. Uh, but they also don't like being treated like shit. So, it's like, people do want to work. People are willing to work for you. But people also want to know that, like, when they work for you, they're gonna... They're gonna be able to take care of themselves. They're gonna be able to make it. And if you're not willing to do that for them, then... Then why would they... Why would they come and work for you? <laughs> like, are you not, you're not paying me shit? Oh, yeah, I, I can't wait to work there. Like, it's just, dude, like... I just recently created a new workflow for our whole team, and one of them said, I hope you get paid enough for this. In fact, in fact do not make enough for this. That kind of goes, okay, like... Come work for my power-washing video game company. That's right, welcome, Captain N. I was just watching Captain N earlier. He was power-washing. Captain N would be a wonderful employer. Uh, I think Captain N. Are you are you in the are you the military, Captain N? I think you said you have you have. Uh, dude, you should <laughs> with your skills you should refuse to work for fifteen dollars now. You should be like twenty, twenty five. Yes. Okay. So I don't know how the Canadian military pays. Um, you might need knowing knowing the military in my earlier days. Like a power washing company on the side would be, be dope. Nowadays, like, yeah, it's great. But when I was like a junior sailor, like, fuck me, man. They didn't pay me fucking shit. I mean, you get a lot of benefits and stuff. Don't get me wrong. That's that's kind of the balance out. But when I came into the military back in 2003. I was making about $400 a paycheck. You get paid every two weeks. So I was making $800 a month. But, like, they gave me a barracks room. So they gave me a bed. I didn't have to worry about a bed. And a shower. And utilities. Or health insurance. So. That was alright. But now it's, uh, now it's pretty decent. Like, it took me a while, but now I'm like, yeah, this, this works. This works. So maybe it's time to get, I don't know, maybe it's time to look outside West Virginia. I'm not saying I can guarantee you things are going to be better in West Virginia. I'm not going to say, yeah, come to Florida, everything will be better. Uh, who knows? I don't fucking know. Yeah, I wish I could look at the Canadian military. See how much they pay. Yeah, I believe you. I, I do believe that. In fact, one of the things I worry about on a quite frequently is what's it like it's gonna be what, what is it going to be like when I retire? Because... Can't, it's public, it's public info. Make approximately 90k a year. So... Knowing the conversion rate... We make about the same amount of money. I mean, my information is public info, too, so... There's a lot of hidden stuff, but... Oh, what the fuck both you share? Okay, yeah, so I make about... I make about the same amount as that. I'll say that. Okay, mine is including allowances. Mine is including allowances. 
Because we have, I don't know how it works for you all, but we have like, uh, we have base pay and we have, uh, uh, basic allowance for housing and we have, uh, basic allowance for sustenance and all that stuff. Yeah, I know, man. And you should get paid more than that. You fucking should. We pay market value for military housing. So I don't live in military housing. I live in my own house. I've owned this house since 2006. It's not that big of a house. Um, I just haven't wanted to get rid of it. Because we have it. Uh, dude, joining the military at 26 is very possible. Very possible. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Like, if you really want to join, like, you're you're at a good age. 26 is a very possible age. Um, yeah, we, we're a little bit more restrictive than that. A little bit more restrictive than that. I think the oldest recruit I've ever had, because I was a drill instructor for a little bit. Um, someone sued something about ageism, but you're... What? Like, there's a reason why there's an age limit for the military, because we want to have you for 20 years. And we can't have someone who's 72 in the military. Like, you might have to, like, shoot people and stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, retirement age for us is technically 62. But I think I may have changed because we're starting to get desperate for recruitment, from what I understand is um like 39 Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get up to this waterfall. Okay. So I have to go up here. So, I mean, we should have told me that, Randall, because right now, or for a little while, they were um, giving $25,000 to anyone who would join. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. Give me a second. Uh, to the river leading up to Easterly Falls, both of which are located in the northwest of the sea. Okay. Okay. So, Randall, if you want, like, to see the military pay charts, you can just look them up. Uh, just type in military pay charts. They're everywhere. And 
I'm not E8 yet, so I'm getting paid as an E7 over 18. And that doesn't include my BH. But if you want to look at the military, military pay charts, that's what you can find out. Oh, you have? Okay. save the game here but yeah dude I struggled in the military for a long long time man a long time I think I was struggling until about maybe three years ago four years ago ah I catch you no I do Not here to I'm not here to catch I'm not here to judge. Not here to judge. I do need some shit. I don't. Oh yeah, same. I'm glad to hear you're doing okay, all things considered, man. I just want I just want everyone, want all of my friends, everyone I know, to be living their best life. Hate to use that use the term like that, but like living the life to its fullest, being happy with stuff, you know? That's all I want from people. YOLO. You know it. Tell that to the Buddhists. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I don't know. That's kind of depressing, man. Sometimes I think about it. Like, I only want to live once. Like, some things about this life are great. But some things, you know what? You know, uh... I could, I could kind of take or leave it. Eh, for a little bit until you get hit by a car. And if you're a bird, I mean, you're not real anyway. You're like a machine or some shit. Like a spy drone. That would be the life. By the way, Randall, I'm wearing the shirt. I'll see you, Captain, if you don't know about the shirt. Got the Wii U-inspired retro hangover design. I love it. I just want to point that out. We do have merch, but I'm not pushing people to buy it. The same way we have cool shit. Nice. We have all sorts of cool shirts, man. I love I love our shirts, and I'm not trying to say that so you can go buy it. I just I actually like them. I wear them all the time, personally. But again, it's kind of like I don't know, it's not my product, so <laughs> I better like it. 
All right, man. No, I understand. That that could take a lot out of you. As relaxing as it is, it can take a lot out of you. But thanks for stopping by, Captain. Ed. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. And when I, if I see you're active, I might stop by Zodiac or I might stop by Retro Hangover. We'll see. But look forward to your next stream. And take care. You too. That air knife. Oh, wow. I feel special. I'm just looking up shit. Oh, go right. I know I went the wrong. I knew I went the wrong way. That's not good. I don't like fighting frogs. You have the shirt. What's going on, Discamera? How are you tonight, dude? very productive day off, then is it really a day off? Uh, my preemptive strike is to run. Pre uh, product uh, productive how? Like, you got a lot of drawings done? That's good. What do you do for like a, a regular day job if you don't mind me asking? If you don't want to share, you don't have to. I'm a test analyst, junior. What's a test analyst?
probably hear children in the background. Never mind. Test applications for a company mostly manual tests, writing test plans, helping with release documentations, etc. QA testing. Huh. Yeah, dude, um, based off previous conversations, I know this is kind of the theme for the night, unfortunately. Yeah, you should come here, dude. I think you'd, uh... I think you'd be well compensated for a job like that. I might be wrong. Randall might know. So I don't want to lead you astray. But that sounds like something I won't, wouldn't want to do. Um... But, you know, people do it. It's important. Rocket Punch. I love that. Ah, I can't see Rocket Punch. Way, way better than the locals. I just like when I when I finally have to find a civilian job, I will fucking be a cashier at a grocery store for all I for all I care. I just want to find a job with like the lowest amount of responsibility possible. Do not make me in charge of anything. Do not make me I do not want to have a job. What the f like, I don't want to have a job where I'm responsible for anybody, or have to run a program, or have to do anything like that. I just want to be able to show up to work, do my job, and go the fuck home. That's it. And I have people, like, ask me questions. I don't want to be a greeter, man. That's for old people. I'm not that old. I mean, I'm retiring in two years. I mean, I'm not, like, military retirement, not, like, retirement retirement. I like 65? Yeah, I wish. I don't wish, actually. I have a lot of video games I need to get through. A lot of video games. If I was 65, I'd have even less time to play all the ones I haven't played yet. Alright, so we're all mastered now. Uh, okay, so what shops does she not have? She's just, she, Ferris does not have Black Mage. Okay, Ferris the Black Mage. Summoner. Yeah, this will be mix. Uh, Beastmaster. Chemist. And 
then, uh... It's just a Beastmaster. You can use your weights again, Pog? Oh, you can work out again! What does that have to do with fat-ass white girls? Pog, not Pog. Same, same, same. What's your abilities? You fucking porn addict. How did you know? Trying to figure out my life right now here. Wild well, guess, who knows? Huh. I don't like your attitude right now. It's my turn to stream on Sunday. So I've been thinking about what I'm going to stream. I don't know what I'm going to stream right now. Probably. Because we have an episode. Actually, hold off, because this is going to be the flight, which is going to be... What's our fucking flight episode? Games we will play in a sick day, and all those games are pretty involved, so I don't want to play any of those. And uh, we're doing Turtles 2, the arcade game, the week after, so I want to hold off on that. Huh. I don't know I'm going to play. I don't want to start Terranigma yet. I'm going to take a few weeks off from doing a long project, because I've just done two. So I just want to play some games that are a little bit self-contained. I might play some Xevious for all I fucking know. Might do that. Would you like to see me do some Xevious? I can do some Xevious on there. I was hoping to get to start using a Ring Fit this weekend, finally. Let me know how that turns out. Ring Fits look fun. Uh, Of course I have not used it. Ring fits are. They were sold out for a while. They've seemed to kind of balance back out. Yeah, uh, ring fits. You can you can find them if you really want to. They're not like ridiculous like they were during the early pandemic days. All right, I think I got life sorted out. Ooh, now I have two reflect rings. That could be useful since I moved away from. I'm wearing the wrong hat. Yeah, and pick up, uh, well. Peloton for twice as much as you. Holy shit. That's nuts, dude. That's why I just go run and I go to the gym at my at my work. And I wouldn't be too jealous of the gym at my work, by the way. It's like, oh, you have a gym at your work? I'm like, yeah. It sucks. But, uh, it's a gym. It's a very white, very rich suburb. Huh. Yeah, I lived in one of those one time. Once upon a time. Those people are fucking weird, dude. Like, if you want to know 
who the most fakest people are in the fucking country. I'll tell you right now, it's the people that live in, in rich white suburbs. But mostly white suburbs. Because not everyone where I live is white. Just most of the people. Overwhelmingly most of the people. Like, they're not bad people, but they're just fucking... Yikes. It's just that, uh... I think they're fake as fuck. They think they fucking know everything, and they fucking don't. Those are the kind of people that will tell you they feel bad for for people who are like working class and then will like spit on people who are actually working class. It's like, why won't you serve me? I came here, you must serve me. But that's the, those, those, those kind of people who think like electricians and plumbers and shit aren't real jobs. Yeah. You stand with the workers until you have to until you actually have to deal with a real worker. It's those people. Then they're yucky. Fuck's sake, man. No, 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 dude. I know exactly who you're fucking talking about. But I'm sure, like, they have their own problems, too, man. Like, I don't want to shit on everybody. I, I think that... Like, there's a lot of kind of attitudes, behaviors about certain types of people that will always piss you off, but, you know, people are just, I don't know. Where's the male equivalent of soccer moms? UFC dads. How about that? Not baseball dads. I say UFC dads. Taking their kids to fucking karate practice. Or football practice. Uh, football being American football. But I already, I know you know that because you've talked to me that. Coach Dads. Oh, good point, dude. See, I, I just try to be careful with, like, being very generic and just applying broad terms to people. I get caught up in it sometimes. Uh, I know I do. You know, I'm not perfect. But, but like... Hey, man, like, if, if you want to stay home and raise your kids, and you can do that, like, that's awesome. Like, you should be able to do that. That's what you want to do. You know, you take care of the house, house is clean. Um, take care of the kids, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I know people work. I know people work, and sometimes that's not always the case and shit. So, like, again, like, I'm not... It's, I'm not even saying, like, it has to be a mom either, dude. Like, it could be... I've seen working dads. Uh, stay-at-home dads. And I highly encourage, like, stay-at-home dads. I wish I was a fucking stay-at-home dad, to be honest with you. But, um... You know what I mean? If you can afford that shit, do it. Just don't be a fucking cunt muffin. I get it, dude. It's that's not about offending people. This is just my own This is just my own feelings on shit. This isn't about me offending anybody. This is just me being me. This is just me saying things. Um I don't like to generalize shit. I just don't. Because the minute you do, you meet somebody who fits outside that generalization, and it's like, oh well, I guess I was wrong. Yo. Know? Uh, there's, there's, there's people who always kind of defy that shit. I just try to catch myself when I do that. Because I don't think that's always fair. Alright.
Alright, so I need to figure out what's going on. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Like, there are great soccer moms out there. There's also a lot of soccer moms that are fucking bitches. They fucking suck. And it's okay to say that. Okay, so I'm going to be fighting Leviathan. So I'm going to need to really buff up. So the thing is, you don't have to fight Leviathan. You can just, like, okay, deuces. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I got the tablet. That tablet. Hand it over to me. Once Lord Xdeath gains the power of the void, he'll create a world just for us monsters. I won't let you interfere. Now, then Leviathan eats him. The monster was destroyed by Leviathan. The power of my waters is strong enough to wash away all sin and make all things pure. But only those with the strength to fight the void will I award this power. Okay. Not good. So she has mix. What do I want to mix? I think I want to mix... Not Dragon's Kiss. Not Dragon Kiss, not re Dragon, not Dragon Power, Dragon Armor, that's what I want. So Phoenix Down and Dragon Fang. Phoenix Down, Dragon Fang, boom. Drink, let's give him a Goliath Tonic. Mix, Phoenix Down, Dragon Fang. Black magic. Thunder guy. Right, so he'll have to let's heal the populace. Mix Phoenix down. Dragon Fang. Don't die. Please don't die. I don't know what happened to the Sega Saturn design, man. I've been trying to get this Turbo Graphics design off the ground. And I can't get that on the storefront, man. I'm not the one you need to be harassing on this stuff. I have no control over the store. I'm going to say that right now. I know you want to give me! I want to accept it! Look, forward all complaints. <laughs> forward all complaints. 
to one... One Mr. Shane. Dragon Fang and High Potion. Because I'm telling you, man, like, I want to do all these things, too. Holy shit. That? Oh, okay. I'm, okay, I'll let him know. I'll let him know in the chat. He might be a busy, too. Just post it in the patron pub. And, and I'm not going to respond. Tag Shane, I'm not responding. No, because I want the money. Even though we don't get, like, anything. No, it costs us nothing. As far as I know. It might. I don't I don't think it does. I don't think it costs us anything. But. Oh, by the way, I got my mug in. Hold on. As far as I know, it doesn't cost us anything. This is my new mug. It's not as good as the Dick Dragon Zazzle mug. It's my mug. Probably want the PC Engine one more. Just the way I think this one, it would wrap better. Still pretty suave. Still pretty cool. Ooh, another reflector ring. Hell yeah, I've received Leviathan. design too I just like I like the um, the Zazzle ones better that had it more centered this one just stretches it around the entire mug which I'm not I just wanted another mug that was functional since I broke my other one like a dumbass I really like that one too I was a little smaller than the one I used for my coffees in the morning I think it's better I use the smaller one What time is it? Oh, I need to charge that then. Okay, it's 9, 10. This watch sucks. Alright. What do I do next? Now it's time for the house cleaning. Now it's time to do the final prep en route to the final dungeon. So housekeeping is definitely in order. First things first, I'm gonna go back to the town and get all items and shit. Because I mm. neglected that last time. Alright, Kelb. I might put reflect rings on all my people. 
active Elden Mantles in haste. Since I don't use any... I don't use healing. So if anyone's going to cast spells on me, it might as well be reflected, right? Ninety-nine ethers. The bitch ain't one. I'm gonna need like ten more of these. Right. I did hear that. I know that people are concerned it's gonna get censored too, which I'm not too sure. I don't think it's gonna get censored. I really don't. Um. Maybe that's just me, like, really having a positive view on it. I don't think it'll get censored. I, just being honest... Okay, so the good news is, is that getting to Bahamut shouldn't be especially hard. I don't know why I'm saying, like, fucking take a black chocobo there, though. I don't know why it's doing that. It's kind of lame. Crystal clean. Yeah, that's a little weird. I see why it wants me to use the black chocolate. Okay. That had to have been a long time ago, man. It's amazing how long it's been. Like, I'm still... Like, I look at a lot of these podcasts, even ones that we've worked with that just have kind of, you know, faded. And to think, like, we've been doing this for seven years. And to think, like, we haven't taken a break since we, since we came back in 2018. Like, that's, that's what blows me away, man. Like, I understand we're a bi-weekly podcast, so it's not as demanding as the weekly one, so the burnout's probably not going to be as bad. But, yeah, man. Like, I'm I'm fucking super proud of that. Four, four years? Four fucking years, man. No, man. I'm not. I mean, there is some burnout in terms of getting, uh... In terms of getting the games. That's awesome to hear, man. Maybe. Unless podcasts have just become, like, an obsession, then... Uh, but I'm glad that we became your... I'm glad that <laughs> you enjoyed listening to our podcast so much that it got you in the podcast. That's... That's humbling. I love it. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. And I think the other thing is, too, like... In terms of patron content... we ha I have so much fucking patron content, I could probably not have to record another episode for patron content for like another six months or so and still be fine I'm still going to I just I don't know I'm glad to be that gateway drug Knife. 
speaking of patron content, though, I really need to get on it, man. I have not... I have not recorded a lot of shit in the past couple months. Now, I have a, an extreme backlog of stuff. A lot of stuff that's right there in the hopper. Um... And we're even working on a, another project that's going to be exclusive to Patreon for 18 weeks. Maybe a little... I mean, maybe not exclusive. Like, an episode will be exclusive for a while, you know? At least nine weeks. But yeah, we, we have some more patron content coming out. Very different vibes in each of these podcasts. So which podcasts do you listen to? I'm just wondering if they're in our circle. I think that's the greatest thing since we came back in 2018 is how many uh, how many people, how many podcasters we became involved with. When we when we closed down shop back in 2016 for like two years, we didn't have a lot of friends in the podcasting sphere. It was like pretty much us. I mean, we were a bunch of shitheads anyway. I know that like Top Hat Gaming Man and uh, Slopes Game Room. They reached out to us back in 2016, 2015, 2016. Back when they were like nothing too. And I, I know that I've told this story before. Uh, but, like, we didn't know how to collaborate. We didn't say, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, sure. And we like, didn't know how to follow up or anything. It was so bad. And uh, now they're like huge. I'm like, ah, shit, man. But you never know. You never know. But now we have like a lot of podcasts that, that we're good with. Like, we have the main quest, the unlockables, secret levels, Grand Rapidians play video games, still loading, gaming memories. I think I already said the main quest. Um, God, I don't want to forget anybody. I guess I'm going to feel terrible. I mean, we've done a, a bunch of collaborations with, with some with some YouTube channels, too. I've been I've been really happy to work with uh, Joe Redifer from um, uh, Game Sack for that one episode. That was great, and my life in gaming worked on with, with a couple. And you know, this is these are just like you have, if you would have told me back if you would have told me that back in 2016, I would have told you you're a liar. Uh, the good, bad, and the backlog, absolutely. Oh, dude, dude, no, don't make me feel bad. Yeah, good, bad, and the backlog, they are fantastic. Gaming memories with Cade Call. Uh, yeah, dude, like so many of them, dude. Uh, other than RSP, I've been slowly going through the good, the bad, and the backlog, which you should. That's fantastic. Mark CGR podcast. I need to take a look at that. Recently added getting into Kit and Krista, which is drastically different than the other three. What's Kit and Krista? Okay. X Nintendo Minute Hoats. I might need to look them up. I always say I like to ask people and then I'll, uh, if they want to be in the podcast and then I forget. But I do like having, like, I'd love to have some more, some more women on the podcast every once in a while. I think we just, we just have too many swinging dicks too often. And nothing wrong with the people we have on, but, you know, it's nice to hear a female perspective from time to time. And, uh... You know, that's, that's something I, I think would be would be beneficial for us. I can just cast fucking Carbuncle. So, then no. Which I'm not saying, like, don't listen to their stuff. What I'm saying is they probably wouldn't enjoy working with us. You have broken the seal. If you can best me in battle, I shall award you my power. Okay. So, I want Dragon Shield. First, I'm going to give myself a Goliath Tonic. And Carbuncle. Mix. Phoenix Down. Dragon Fang. Yeah. 
Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix down and Dragon Fang again. Give everyone Dragon Defense. Uh, cast a Flare. Sleeping Low, Dark Knight Diaries, or Wan Show. Or all in. I've only heard of us in Good Bad Backlog. So now... That's Elemental. I don't want Elemental. What do I want? 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 I want? Pause this. What do I want? I want Dark Elixir, Dragon Armor. I already did. Elemental Power. I don't need that. Set of flare. I can do dragon power. Probably dragon power. Is a potion of dragon fang. Give her an elemental boost. Mix. High drops. Holy water. Let's get some golem. Mix. Summon. Buy a thing. Item. This all doesn't matter. We're going to reflect. Do we have reflect up? I do not have reflect up. I need reflect up. Uh, defend. Mix. Uh, zombie breath. Okay, mix. Uh, Bang, summon, carbuncle. Okay. I've heard of that show. Yeah, 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 yeah. We on our way, boy. Fuck shit up. We got Bahamut. Oh, you're talking about Kit and Krista. Okay. So I don't even know who I'd want on the podcast now. I think, like, I would love to have... There's there's this one guy, um... 
called Shmup Junkie. He's a YouTuber. He started, I met him on Instagram. Not met, but you know, I got associated with him on Instagram. I'm one of his patrons. Uh, it seemed, he seems like a great dude. He was on one of the episodes with Region Free Gamers when they were talking about the history of Compile. And I, I really want to do a shmup episode. I want to get a shmup one. We haven't had a shmup one. I put one, I deliberately put one shmup episode on the schedule next year. Uh, and I think on that one I'm going to invite him. And I, I really want to do that. So I know there's that. Uh, but I don't know who else I want to, like, invite. Like, everyone that we invite to the show is always welcome back whenever they want to. They can always be like, hey, can I see the schedule? And be like, hey, man, yeah, absolutely. You can, you can be whatever episode you fucking want to be on. Um, so, I don't know, man. I don't know who I'd ask. I, I think one of the things is I'm still in this mentality that I'm just not going to get a response. We're still, like, a really small podcast. And, uh... I really wish more people would listen to the interview with William Cage. I really do, because every single person that's listened to it has absolutely loved it. But it just doesn't seem like, you know, people care for it much. And that sucks, man. That was, I thought, I thought that was one of my favorite episodes to record. And I'm finding that with a lot of these episodes that I do interviews with. They just don't, they don't catch fire like a lot of other ones do. And that, that kind of blows, man. I guess it's a, you know, it's, it's a way we have to market it, I guess. And I'm, I'm a shitty marketer. I'll be the first one to tell you. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, that's that's his thing. I'm, like, very optimistic. But there's been a lot of people who are who are in the similar ballpark with them. Or, or at least, you know... I know they're associated with them that just haven't responded. I'm not going to put any names out there. But... Um, the other thing is, too, is, like, I don't know who I'd really want to invite. I do think I want to go a little while, too, where I'm just looking at how many episodes me and Shane can just do and see how they, those, do, those do. I mean, we're going to find out really soon. There's an episode coming out. I mean, the flight is okay, um, but they're not like mainline episodes. So we're going to have a mainline episode coming out here pretty soon where it's just me and Shane and how they do. Because scheduling is also a massive pain in the ass, man. It really is. And I love having guests on. This isn't to um, look down at any guests, but you always have to coordinate with them and and hope everything works out. It's just another it's another step in the process of getting people onto the show. And um, so every once in a while, it's nice to take a little break. Doesn't mean we don't have more guests. We have a lot of guests scheduled. For, I think like there's a guest on every single episode for the remainder of the year. So there's that. I think that's another reason why I'm like, yeah, I, uh, I love the guests. I love having guests. But every once in a while, it's okay to have a few episodes for just me and Shane. Because that's what the show always was. And then, like, you're like, a guest every week. <laughs> it's like, cool, but... You know, there's just something about the uh, the old days that it's nice to feel nostalgic about. It's just like, hey, it's just me and Zane again. So we'll see. I mean, if uh, this next episode comes out, which is uh, Turtles 2, and it's received well and a lot of people listen to it, you know, there might be... We might need to think about just having me and... me, Just me and Shane. I think the chemistry is always a little bit better, too, when it's me and him. There's there's some people who add that you know. That you know we're going to have a good guest. Um, that's because we they've been on the show before, and we know. And that's, like, people like Kate or, or Adam. And they, or Tiger. And we know when they come on, it's, it's going to be a banger. Like, every single time they come on, it's just, it's hilarity, and it's a great time. And that's not to disparage any of our guests. Like, we've had plenty of great episodes with all of them. But, um... Like, you just, there's sometimes, you know, you just have a certain chemistry with certain guests that, that can't be understated. I think Cade is way up there, man. Um, Adam's up there. So, I love it. I fucking love it when they're, when they're on the show. Uh, where from here?
Okay. <sighs> so I need to figure out my life right now. In terms of just what I'm going to be doing here. Alright, so I have to go to the Phoenix Tower. But before I do that, I'm going to go get a drink. I do need Phoenix. Phoenix, yes, I do need this. All right, y'all, I'm back. So Phoenix Tower, gotta find Phoenix Tower. Hello. Hello, Dad. I think I know where the Phoenix Tower is. That's probably the Phoenix Tower right there. I guess I can't land there. Okay, so I have to go back to my black chocobo. No, I don't want to go there. No! What's that? The rift. Can't fight it. You're being sucked in. Good, we get a free ride. Here we go. Uh, I'm getting um, I'm getting the summons because I have a summoner. At least we don't have to go through that custom again. So that's good.
Uh, actually, what I should do is I should get just four. This is for completion's sake. I'm going to get all of the weapons. That I am going to do for completion's sake. Yeah. X-Death Soul, X-Death Runaway. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, here's get my dudes. It's cool. No, you didn't dream it up. Like, it really happened. And Cade posted it. If you go search and you do from, look up Cade. Should be in the top right. Huh. This is a long time ago. Which is great against dragons, if you're a bard. I know I have bards. Gaia Bell, which is actually not that bad. Saturn with the oval buttons. I'm looking at mine right now. Dust it off a little bit. I like the uh, the Japanese white Saturn design better, myself. But yeah, I love mine with the little access light. I think that's cute. Preemptive runaway. I get that. Not everyone is. Huh. That's weird. Huh. Well, reach out to Cade then. I don't know. I have my frustrations too. Back then we didn't have tea public, by the way. I need to say that. Now we do. That's why I want the I want the um <clears throat> I wish the uh, turbo graphics one was was available. Cuz the turbo graphics one is fucking clean, man. Okay. Hey, bump it. Bump it back up. Could we not? Could we not?
Fuck's sake, man. Okay, what the fuck are these things? How do I fucking kill them? So they're vulnerable to death. Okay, Zantesca can. Are you so sleepy? If you're sleepy, go to bed, dude. What have I told you about listening to your body? You need to listen to your body. If you're sleepy, go to sleep. You're working right now? Phoenix Tower is bullshit. Alright. First four left. Tsunami. Oh. Critical attack. I don't want those magic pots. Flickering, not a four. Fuck yeah.
Oh, okay. So they do have gold on the fifth floor left urn. That's 5,000 gil. I do need gil, because I want to buy more elixirs, because I'm going to need those for the final battle. Uh... TG, what's the next shirt? I'm waiting for TG to be the next shirt. This hasn't happened yet. So when that happens... Like, let's... I, that's... Ugh. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Idea. Well, probably back to the Saturn one. I like to see a Saturn one. I need. I'm calm. Oh, I love a Sega CD one. PS1, I think, would be a little too difficult. I think PlayStation 3 or 2 would be better. I mean, we still have yet to do a Super Nintendo one. Or just a plain Nintendo one. Commodore 64? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. Man, there are so few people who actually... Like... Like, even in my growing up gaming stuff, like, people haven't played with microcomputers, really. I think only one was like, yeah, I... There was two that were like, yeah, we do have microcomputers, but we didn't really care for them. We cared for Master Systems instead. It's like, okay. It's really funny, too, because every single... So, like, every single time I've talked to anybody outside of the United States for my Growing Up Gaming series, every single one of them so far, every single one, has said Master System was, like, their first console. It was their first love. Or, or it was... If it wasn't them, it's because they were too old for the Master System. And it was, like, Super Nintendo. It's nuts! Like, what'd you play when you grew up? Oh, you know, the Master System. It's like... That was supposed to be the system no one... no one... liked. Which is weird, because even looking back at it, I love the ma I mean, if you listen to the uh, Guilty... Guilty Pleasures, I love the Master System, man. Like, I fucking love it. But... It does not have a great library. It just doesn't! Like, compared to the NES, it's not that good. It has some bangers, sure, but it's not... It's not what you're gonna get from the NES. Right, right, right. But I'm talking about, like, outside of the United States. Um, and you're a little younger. And even when you say, like, favorite console, a lot of people disregard... No! Disregard handhelds. Can they fucking knock it off? Fuck's sake! Fucking die. Actually, no, I feel you. Most of my time in the, like, my first half of the career, my, my naval career has been, has been handhelds. Like, the DS, the Advance, those were my bread and butter, man. Like, the DS gave me hours and hours and hours of, of enjoyment. DS was my baby. No, that's entirely believable. I have some really good memories about playing D on D uh, uh, D and D on uh, the MSC ship I was on. Like, you're not always going to have your video game systems with you, man, and and you want 
I know I was kind of speaking for myself here, but like you, every once in a while, you like actually want to hang out with fucking people. I know it's crazy, but. And D&D is one of those games that... You know, you can play with other people and it's fun. So... That's awesome. Hey man, Zoom, Zoom, Discord, all those things, I'm surprised they haven't gone that route. That's awesome, man. That is so cool. Right, on the 25th floor. The right has. I don't need the absolute right. I do need the gill. One of them couldn't make it up because there was an hospital. The rest flew out and played it in this room before curfew. That was awesome. That's awesome. That is incredible, dude. You should make like a you should make a local news story on that man, like or, or some sort of documentary. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What am I fighting?
the hand. Yes. Well then! Here are you! Is this the wind drake that saved you? Here are you! What are you doing? He says he wants to help you. Hear you! Tower. Lana. Hirio knew he didn't have much longer to live. That means in the forest when he saved me. It seems he came to this tower so he could use the last of his strength to help you. Hear you. What do you mean? Mother's not going to make it. Dear, the doctor did his best. It seems the only thing that could cure her is a wind drake's tongue. Lena! Where are you going with that knife? Certainly you don't mean to. Stop! Sire, I'll go. Princess Lena, kill him and you kill the last of the Windrakes. What's more? The Queen Mother has always cared deeply for Hiryu. Will you still cut out his tongue? Oh, no. Princess, your father used to come here every day, just as conflicted as you are now. But perhaps you made the right decision. Mother. You don't kill the dragon. The wind drake Hiryu became a phoenix and entrusted his strength and soul to Leda. Receive the summoned monster, Phoenix! Hiryu, thank you. So, I don't know how much long... I don't know. That was a big thunder. I do not know the exact length of the rest of this game. That's it. for the, As far as I know. Like, I am done with the extra shit. All that's left is to beat... Is to beat this game. That's it. I've been streaming for two hours, okay. That's good. So.
By the way, I have a confirmation of I'm going to have a guest on. I'm just trying to figure out what their schedule is. They're... Damn it, my power map better not go out. Um, we have a guest on for a guide in that I'm going to be doing with uh, talking about all the Final Fantasy V pixel remasters. All the final, not final, yeah, all the Final Fantasy V pixel remasters. That's this one. Um, but all the Final Fantasy pixel remasters. I'm going to be doing a guide to that. Actually, no. Hey, what's going on, Anthony? You actually came at like the tail end of the stream. Hate to say it. Uh, Lyle. Lyle was or uh, was asked to be on, but yeah, I don't think he could uh, afford to be on it. I will definitely be doing a Final Fantasy V Four Job Fiesta 2022 wrap up with him and probably with Backlog Adam because I said in the uh, la in the um, in the guide in episode for the wrap up of last year, anyone who wanted to do the the Final Fantasy V Four Job Fiesta this year was more than welcome to join in with us. So I'm just going to be like, who is part of it and who wants to talk about the wrap-up for 2022 and we'll make a guide of that. So I'm, we're going to have two after I beat this. Actually, yeah, I'm going to have two guidance ready to record after this. When they'll come to your ears, I don't know. Might be a few months. We have a couple guidance, man. I have a couple guidance. Quite a few guidance that are ready to roll. Never drive a ship by air. That's awesome. Hey, baby. I, and it's small enough it can fit right in there. If you know what I'm saying. Can't escape. That's negative thinking. You can't think like that. So you're still waiting on your EverDrive? Are you still waiting on it? You said your EverDrive is shipped by air. Are, are, are EverDrives like mock copies? Yes and no. So they're like a cartridge, a real cartridge. Except like it just gets loaded into the cartridge and then what is ever fed into the cartridge uh, goes into the pins on the console. So the console's, the game's being run on real hardware. It's just not a real game, so to speak. You know, roulette's supposed to imply that every once in a while it lands on their ass. That's really thundery outside. Even though it's located in China. Yeah. 
I wish my shipping from Play Asia for a bunch of games I have coming in would hurry up and get here. China. I better hurry up and get out of this tower before the power goes out. Is this starting to come down? Like, it's bad outside. I don't want to do this fucking tower over again. And I can't escape from shit. That's never good. That's not a good dream. Why would she have that dream? Dude, I haven't been able to play it either. That's why I want to get done with this game. So this weekend, like Saturday and Sunday, I can focus on front mission. Because we got we got work to do. We got work to do. I got to get an outline. I got to get everything done. I got to schedule a day. I got to do that shit. It's got to happen. Oh, with stress. I'm sorry to hear that you're stressed out, dude. Okay, that works better than an ether. Hand chopped off? I mean... Hmm. I wouldn't always say, like, violence is the best answer, but you know what? Sometimes they gotta get these hands chopped off. Came the living dead.
Hold out. Hold out. Got five levels left. If I go dark, it's because my power went off. Come on! I don't want to fucking fight things anymore! Get the fuck out! Alright, I'm closing this game out. I'm closing it, because the storm is fucking bad, y'all. Um, and it was saved. Whew! Alright, so, if this power goes off in the middle of my closing out here, because I gotta go, um, because I don't know how much I don't trust this storm. So, first and primarily, we are a podcast. The Retro Hangover Pocket. Fucking hell. Over there. Down there. Down there. We are the Retro Hangover Podcast. Right down. There. So, listen to us uh, at HTTPS down there at the bottom. Uh, linktr.ee slash Retro Hangover. And you'll hear our most recent episode where we interviewed the amazing William Cage. Uh, we had a great interview with him. He is the developer of Fragrant Story for the 3DS. You need to go check that out. And additionally, if you're watching this on YouTube, you could have watched this live if you went over to twitch.tv slash Retro Hangover and followed us. And then you could be over there. And we would have loved to have you. Definitely would have. Great conversation today with just Chimera, Randall, and Anthony here. Uh, we are just having a great time. Captain N was here too. So thank you, Captain N, for swinging by. But we love it. This game's almost over. The next time we're here, we're going to the final dungeon. The next time I stream. And hopefully we can beat this game. We have... We have to close this out. We have charities we need to donate to, y'all. Um, you know what? It was for all of June. I'm going to say it's probably now going to be all for July. So, hey, look. If you want to be a patron only for one month, the money's going to charity. Get on it if you want to. Obviously, you don't have to. But half of it's going to go to Planned Parenthood Foundation of America. The other half's going to go to the Children's Center of the Visually Impaired. And we're giving it out uh, for charity to, you know, well, because for charity and this a cool thing to do giving a charity but uh that's all i got i gotta get out of here this storm is bad y'all and i don't want to get cut out due to power so uh thank you for joining me and until next time play with your that was too long with a fucking tower joysticks have a good one everybody bye bye <laughs>